Hey guys, I got a Craftsman with a model number right there. 6.5 Craftsman horsepower made by Briggs and Stratton. And uh, it's, I have it for 10 years, but I never uh, changed the oil or put any additives to the gas. So today, when I started it, it won't start anymore. So I already changed the filter and I changed the spark plug. It won't turn over. See, watch. Start. So, I already placed, like I said, I already placed the spark plug and the air filter. So, I'm just going to do a whole tune up on it. For the first time since about 10 years like the air filter i use is this one it's a generic brand uh, the actual filter inside was this number the 491588 and for the spark plug is i use this brand the the model number that was inside there was the spark plug was rj19 lm so i'm replacing with that and for the carburetor I'm gonna rebuild the whole thing. I got a kit here. Uh, kit overhaul. And UPC is. You can, you can read the UPC. You know. It's 024847855040. So I hope I'll start after I change this. And I'm gonna replace the oil too. Right now, my biggest problem is I have a lot of gas in it, so I'm gonna have to drain that out. And um, you can see, there's a lot of gas still in there. So I'm gonna have to drain that out. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna open this fuel line, catch it from here. I'm gonna try to clean up this after I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna open this line, get the gas line out. First thing I'm gonna do is remove this screws here and this one. And remove the air filter again. Okay. Okay, right, I'm gonna remove the screws. First you're gonna remove the screw from the filter here. That head. The screwdriver I'm using is too big. That's alright. And there's the new filter that I use. Just take that out. And to take this out, just pull it up. Just not severe. Just put that back in and when you put it back. Look how dirty that is. Dirty inside there. You have to clean that out. A spark plug that I removed from there is the original part number. It was the Champion brand. RG19LM and I replace it with the new one right and if you want if you, in order to remove it you, you turn it this way and when you put it back use your hands first tighten it with a hand then use a wrench a uh, spark plug wrench to tighten it one for torn all right I'm gonna remove the top cover too. All right, kind of clean it the best I can. Now I'm gonna drain the fuel out of here. All right, I'm using a slurpy cup to catch the fuel. In 
Gotta get in that container. Okay, the trash is drained. Now I'm just gonna tip it over to the side and drain the oil too while I'm working on this side. I'm gonna use this uh, socket wrench extension. I'm gonna use to open this. This is the drain plug for the oil engine oil. Turn it this way. I'm gonna use this old paint to catch it. Old paint, uh, whatever you call it. Catch the oil. I'm just gonna tip it over. Nothing coming up. No oil in there. Maybe that's why he's now running. There's no oil. Oh, there you go. Uh, the reason the oil didn't come out because of the thing. Because I didn't open this one need the air pressure all right I'm gonna remove these three screws over here and take this out there's a hose in the back just take that out there you go like so and we can clean this one later some dirt I'm gonna reattach the fuel line here and remove this line here. Remove this spring over here. Like that. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, I removed the two screws over here and over here with a 3 inch socket, there's two over here. Now remove this slowly, remove the fuel line. Okay, remove this fuel line. Now you can remove this too, without breaking. There you go. Now this is the uh, carburetor we're gonna clean and replace. I mean, uh, uh, I got gas on my. We're gonna clean up and replace the thing inside there. We're gonna spray it with carburetor cleaner first. Cleaner. All right. I'm gonna remove this foot. Now we're gonna remove this pin. Tip this up. And there's the floating pin we're gonna replace. And there's a gasket over there we're gonna replace inside there. There's a gasket we're gonna replace. Now I got this kit. This from a local uh, uh, lawnmower repair, repair store. It was 11 bucks, but I think it's cheaper if you buy it online. But since I'm in a hurry to fix it, I'm gonna, I just paid the extra money. All right, I'm gonna remove the seat using a screwdriver. I mean a screw, tighten it. There you go. 
all out. Put some compressed air into all the holes right here, right there. Anywhere there's a hole, I blow air on it, clean it up. Is the new seat. See the groove on the seat? No, camera can be. There's a groove on the seat. Make sure it's facing inside there. This is the top side, the clean side. The groove should be going down. Alright, so I'm gonna slide it like this. Okay, I have a little screwdriver. I'm gonna put it in there. So the thing is facing. I'm just gonna slide it down. Put on. There you go. Now it's in there. Now I'm gonna use this to flatten it. Pin goes inside here. Slide it down like that. So it goes straight down like that. Now put the pin back in. So put it back to the hole. One seems to fit good. It's bigger than the other one. Yeah, let's see. I'm using the fatter seal. But it's too big. It won't seal good. Maybe it will. We'll see. Right, I'm using the bigger seal. And there's a gasket here too. Make sure that's okay. And I clean all the holes in here too. Still tight, still tight. Now I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna replace this gasket too. It's all worn up. Okay, it's a little clean now. This one goes over here. And a uh, little filter. This washer, you can just put it right here. Let's go in there. There you go. Now you can just put it in. Catch the holes. The oil, by the way, not too much. Put this back on. Add oil. The S eight E thirty. 
you're gonna keep filling it up until you see the full on the dipstick just full in there so don't pour the whole thing just pour a little bit first I okay, have a clean dipstick here I'm gonna put it in there see how much oil I need to add okay. Okay, I added some more oil. Let's see how much I need to add more. Should be good enough right there. It's on full already, so it should be good. I'm gonna mix I'm gonna mix my gas with the additive. Stabilize because they said ethanol and gas doesn't mix right, so I gotta use this with it. So, just gonna use one uh, one cup full. Enough. Hopefully no leaks. Go. new well additive new oil no leaks check for leaks no leaking new oil filter dry dry new spark plug now you're gonna start it prime it now we're gonna start it It's working now so that's how you fix it you just change the stuff inside the carburetor and this one I did a full tune-up so all right thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye